if that wasn't bad enough, if the COVID situation wasn't bleak enough for you, um, news spread the other day, I think, what, two days ago, regarding Berghain, and supposedly there was a fire that took place just outside of Berghain, right? I think when I first saw it on the on the TL, the old timeline, it did look like it was the actual building itself, but I think due to further um, reportage by people that were on the ground, it looks like it was an adjacent building that basically got on fire, but luckily, because the Berghain is literally, you know, around the corner or up across the road from a fire station, they were able to come across and basically defuse the situation pretty quickly. But it did feel like the perfect sort of crescendo the perfect climax the perfect conclusion the perfect ending to an absolutely shitty year that the one kind of you know dance institution the one the one mecca the one quote-unquote church that most dance fans are sort of addicted and you know to you know my home from home would succumb to the you know the, the consequences of such a shitty year and go up in flames <clears throat> it felt like you know poetic was that poetic justice it felt like um it felt like the poetic end that you would expect for this year. That's what it felt like. But luckily, that's not the case. So this is from this guy called um, Daniel Ryan Spaulding. I think you remember the dude. He's the guy that does the whole Berlin thing, right? That whole comedy sketch. It's a bit, you know, it's a bit trite. He kind of um, rinsed that um, sponge very, very dry. But hey, you got to do what you have to do. So he reported the following. 2020 is complete. A fire at the Berghain, though the building itself, my eyewitnesses. Um, though not the building itself, my eyewitnesses. It says, um, Daniel will rebuild um, the ruins tomorrow like a true whatever that word is circa 1945 thank you to sexy firefighters for saving the day i think someone made a joke as well that supposedly they didn't let the firefighters in so they couldn't stop the fire but hardy ha ha regardless um it's not that big of a deal i guess it's okay it's fine um no no damage has been made the decks are okay your dark rooms are saved but still imagine if it did when it went up in flame just imagine the uproar um on social especially for the people that were like you know at the beginning of the lockdown were bemoaning this place and the scene and lack of inclusion <laughs> no one wants it to go up in flames i mean the what the, the best thing everyone wants is for it to be reopened and for re, uh, reparations to be evenly doled out to <laughs> minority communities that's what you'd love to see in it and then i guess someone's got a video here of the outside um, I guess the, the caption says, just walk past this. I had a better view than the flames as I was walking past, but there were a lot of police and firefighters around, so I didn't want to get in the way and make it a video. It's the complete opposite of how we approach these situations in the UK, in the Europe, I guess, vis-a-vis um, -vis our American uh, neighbours, right? They would be all up in there making noise. Oh my God, oh my God. I mean, we're, we're, like, we're so polite. We're sort of trying to film these kind of tragedies and crazy situations from afar, you know not being too that that's my theory why we don't see too many of these sort of like public freakouts public you know street fights on websites somewhere you do see some of them but not to a certain extent you see them you know displayed on places that will start hip-hop we're just too polite for it we see someone firing on the bus every single day we just keep it moving for the most part you just put your head down in the book or turn your music on louder with jeremy so you can kind of drown it all out um no one really cares too tough about this kind of things but anyway continues thankfully they did seem to have a pretty well under control by the time we left. So thank God the venue is so close to the fire station across the road. I um, hope everyone is safe and the venue didn't suffer much damage. Looking forward to getting back in there as soon as we're allowed back. Who had the Bergen fire on the 2020 bingo card? Yeah, very, very true, man. That's a perfect statement to make there. Who had it on their bingo card? Uh, like I said, I think it would have been... It, it didn't happen but it would it would have it, it it doesn't sound too far-fetched considering how crappy things have been it wouldn't sound too far-fetched that you know on the last month of the year especially a month where i would assume it's probably might be one of their best nights best months in the year i would assume december january right they've got that sylvester night that they do the kind of new year's eve thing I remember back in the day, I remember seeing that. I remember back in the day, there was a listing. Someone listed a ticket for a New Year's Eve Bergheim event for like 700 euros or dollars, I think, back in the day. They sold it for, and it's actually sold. So just imagine, um, you know, how that must have felt. But yeah, there's a video. Looks like it's like the, the side of it as you're kind of walking up. It looks like crazy you know but at least it's good to know that it's okay no um crisis avoided your dance floor will be back with you very very soon <laughs>